You are now listening to the Oddbelly Podcast. Well, hello and welcome, everybody. I am your host, Mochi Squeeze. We are here, Odd Valley Live. We are back. Um, and your co host over there, Jacob Jones. Um, Sup, dog? We are, we are back with you today on this lovely Friday, this first Friday of the month um, of February. So, hooray for February. I mean, you know. February. It's happening. Fabu. The year's going, going. February. It Can I ask you a question? 2323 two, today. What is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's sick. Mm-hmm. That's so sick. So, a lot of people probably getting married today because of whatever. Because of a like 11, 11. And yeah. Fucking 22, 22. Yeah. And then, and then you know, all those know. weird number combinations. Is there going to be a... Yeah, it'll be a three, There's going to be three, a three, one... Three. There's going to be a one, two, three, stop? one, two, three. When will it stop? Did you know that? One, two, year? three, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. 12, 20... No, what? 12... 12 uh, just December 3rd. 31st. Yeah. Oh, New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That was too hard for my mm-hmm. brain right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But um, anyways, uh, besides that, we Wait. are back here with you. This is week. Can you can you read that those words up there? Yeah, it says live. No, like uh, the chat. Can you read? Yeah, those? is that too small uh, or is that? No, that's fine. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. That's fine. Uh, do you like the live? Yeah, but it's not in the middle. Is it? It's not it's centered. Like slightly enough. off. I know. So it's like this you isn't. Know, this is bad production this work. Is, is that what I'm hearing? That slightly it bothers me there. a little bit. No, I press the button that forces it to uh, do the thing. To be in the middle because yeah. I feel like it's not in the middle. Okay, what it's if I do It's either that or the the two mountains. How's that? There. I feel like okay, that's cool. more in the middle. I somehow figured out how mm-hmm. to fix it mm-hmm. because I am a producer or something. Yeah, yeah? you are. Some All right. kind of producer. Well, um, let's get back to it. Hi. We're back. We're here. Odd Valley Live. This is our... You know, we we're on a new schedule now, so we do um two episodes a month. Um and this is our yeah. first episode for this month. So, um we're yeah. pretty excited that we're back. And we could always do some other kind of content as well, but like for Odd Valley Live twice a month. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah, Odd Valley Live is twice a month cuz this is our heavy drinking <coughs> podcast, so you know, we yeah. like to give our bodies a little bit of break sometimes. But um mm-hmm. yeah, and sorry, you'll see me adjusting a lot because uh, my shoulders are tense a little bit. So, um, I don't think you need to apologize you for know, adjusting. If you, you know see I mean? me doing weird movements, that is probably it. You st- can you guess what I'm adjusting right now? Um I mean, you could ask the viewers. I don't care. Let us know in the comments below. What am I adjusting? But or what was I? So adjusting? let's get to it. So, so let's explain the pod. I'm going to explain the <laughs> podcast for um, new viewers or, you know, or old viewers who have forgotten what we are. But Odd Valley Live is a drinking podcast. So we do drink oh, yeah. throughout this whole podcast. Um, mm-hmm. We encourage you to drink also with us if you can, if you are of legal age in your country. Um, we do want you to drink with us too. So, um, because yeah. it's like much more fun. Yeah, you'll hear a thing where we do a thing, we drink and then, when something happens. Um, you gotta, yeah, do that. Yeah, you know he's moving, he's going too much ahead of what that we was just doing, a tease that's okay that was just a tease um so every start of our podcast we always do a preliminary shot mm. which oh, jacob yeah, has point. poured already do we were um, prepped today we, we are were prepped. prepped because i think 7 p.m is like a better time than 6 30 because it we, is we both have we both are just coming home from work we got to get like mm. shit done mm-hmm. So seven is just better. I mean, I don't know. Like I try to keep it like a little bit early for our East Coasters or whatever, yeah. but it's just kind of tough for us. So sh- we're trying our best. The sh- the shuffle to get home from work and like hurry the fuck up and set everything up and get ready mm-hmm, to go mm-hmm, has mm-hmm. been insane. It's hard. 
You know, but like the thing is, we were our one of our taglines was it's still during happy hour. You it's got thirty minutes happy, happy hour, hour. Mm-hmm. but then we would start mm-hmm. at like almost mm-hmm. seven anyway. Yeah. So. Yep. So mm-hmm. I mean, this is our happy hour. I mean, this is how we get down here. So, um, but we sure. are gonna start with our preliminary shot. Um, we always here in the Odd Valley studio, we always take a shot of JMO. That's what I take a shot of. That's what I like. So, you yeah, know, it's, t- it's the non sponsor of the yeah, of it's Odd our non sponsor, um, Jameson. Yeah. But oh, yeah. occasionally Jacob will do something else. But me, I don't really, I don't like to deviate. If anyone knows me, I'm, <laughs> I am a very, very straightforward. You, you know, tonight when I was, uh, because pa- we have this, uh, we have this backpack. So, uh, we have this backpack that's a cooler, right? So we put all our drinks in there and then put like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. little ice packs, you know what I mean? And so we always say like, it's time to pack the bag, right? So I was packing the bag um, and I was looking in the freezer and I saw those like there's multiple like little bottles, like a single shot of yeah. like random liquors. And I was really tempted to grab one tonight. Yeah, but I'm not but even I don't know. going to. Like, I don't know. I think some of, of that's tequila. From, yeah, because... A lot of those are from like baby showers that I've been to and then oh, um, the baby showers that I've been to, the hmm. gift, because this person really likes tequila, has been gifting the tequila in there, mm-hmm. which is fine um, for because, ev- you know, tequila is tequila. Everyone likes it, mm-hmm. but it's not for me. I'm not really a tequila drinker, so yeah, um, it's kind of rough for me. So that's why that's in there and I won't drink it. So... That would have to be up to Jacob if he's going to drink it. But I'm trying to think of a joke and I can't let can't get there. Um, go ahead and do a preliminary shot. So okay. everyone who is watching us right now, I, I hope see, you see me um, bitch in the chat. What's up, girl? Oh, yeah. Hello. So it's she better a take a shot with us a because it's been a while. And also for her and for us, because, you know, we, we were on hiatus for a while and this bitch is busy. So, yeah, we're kind of back to like our normal like infotainment thing we've been kind of yeah, doing a lot yeah, lately yeah last time you know we I mean? did our our what did we do D&D last? Thing. oh yeah yeah but yeah. then today Va- we're back to the infotainment but let's do our preliminary Valis's shot right now before we go into the topic so okay one, one episode of Val- valis is a quarter i think yeah so um <laughs> let's go ahead and take our preliminary shot everybody raise your shot glasses raise them up here you go let's do this happy weekend it's my new thing <laughs> Um. <laughs> now I do have a quick, a quick little message to everyone, just so you know. It's always my mission to get our episode of Neon Pocket Dimension, which is our other podcast I do with the homies Gage and Miguel. Miguel, you've seen on here a lot. Mm-hmm. I like to have those updated or uploaded every Friday before you know. So like the you know you get your episode of Neon Pocket Dimension on YouTube before we go live on Odd Valley when we do. I failed to get that uploaded. I forgot that I needed to do uh, to do a little editing and stuff. And so because of that, I said, hey, there's got to be repercussions. So I told Gage I'm going to take an extra shot tonight. Was uh, he as okay punishment. with that? I don't care what he has to say about it. I'm just saying, Gage, just so you know, halfway through this, I'm going to do – I'll do a half shot. Okay. Do a half shot. I got, I'm going to take a, a punishment shot for not having our new episode up okay. on there. But yeah. it, it'll be up there over the weekend. So Okay. And it's a good episode. It, 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 was, was it, was a good a, episode. it was a great conversation we had funny. with uh, Pizza Man Sam from X Interact and yeah. all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's get into it. Um, we are today. Oh, I spilled all over um, myself. We do this info, what he, what Jacob was talking about is it is kind of like infotainment because what we do is we try to give you a little bit of education on a topic. Um, we do a little bit of research, but you know, as we get more drunk throughout the show, it starts to get a little hazy and information starts getting a little weird. And, so um, she keeps saying this and I don't really agree with that. take it with a grain that, of right? salt. And if, you know, if we're ever wrong about something, you know, please don't take us too seriously. And we are okay with you correcting us. Are we're you, not assholes. Are you worried about like offending people by saying the wrong thing? Or? No, I'm a, f- I am just, just trying to like say that. Is a disclaimer? That, just a disclaimer because what if people are taking what we're saying as fact, fact. And uh, it could be wrong. Like they're like, look, oh, like what if some kid on a report is like, oh, cited by Odd Valley on well, Twitch. Why that, would someone? Um, first of all, kids probably that, should be watching this. All right. That um, the chastity belt is not real. The only I don't pe- know. 
They only... Like, who knows? <laughs> like, they could be doing that. That's true, though. But that is true. That That's is a true, true fact. That's but true. But I'm just saying that you never know. We could hmm. become... I just uh, we think, could become I so popular that like stupid dumb teenagers are gonna start like citing us in their research papers. Mm. I don't know. think anyone cites podcasts. <sighs> you don't know. You've never. You haven't written a research paper in such a long time. Look, let me know. The in last the comments, time I wrote a research paper, I still had to use the Dewey Decibel system. So well, can you say that like, one more time? Let's the what? like talk the Dewey about what? it. What? Like we couldn't. We what like, was that? Dewey. What? We had to go to the library. And cite real books. We couldn't do... Did you say library or library? You know, library. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> the topic that we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be talking about nepotism and nepo babies. Nepo um, babies. So, Should it's going to be a pretty cash thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what nepotism is, but I'm sure Jacob will bring up the definition before we start getting into it. Yeah. And then we'll talk about what a nepo baby is and... You know, all that life. stuff, because it happens a lot everywhere, um, even in your regular daily life. But um, before we get into the topic, we are going to go ahead and do um, our wheel, which uh, for new for new people, it is our wheel of misfortune named mm -hmm. Trebek, R.I.P. We named him after um, one of our favorite game show hosts. Yeah. Um, mm hmm. So he's going to turn on action cam right now, <coughs> which Kay. I don't know ready? if he made the camera correct. Are you ready I for this? Set it up. Okay. Okay. Go right, ahead. Right here We're doing comes. it. Um, he's going to put it on. Engage action cam. Yep. See, there we go. Did so you like that? I did like that. That, that was, was pretty very, cool, right? That was awesome. I engaged mm -hmm. it a little too early, so um, a All right. premature but, there. So it's our <laughs> Wheel of Misfortune. What it is is that we... Um, we spin it twice. There's words written on it, as you can see. Um, whatever it lands on, if we say those words throughout the podcast, we take a sip of our drink. So we Indeed. drink, you drink, we all drink. For ice so um, it'll be a fun time. And we roughly go around like an hour and 30. Sometimes we go two. So well, we'll it'll see. be it'll be wild. We'll see what the yeah. like how much gas this topic has. But yeah, I'm ready to get it'll fucking be really wild. I'm ready so, to get fucking mm -hmm. historical on your ass today. So I'm pretty you know I mean? excited. Um, if I have to. All right. So we are going to go ahead and get to the wheel. Jacob is going to read the words. Yeah. Um, yep. He's going to read the words anyone? and he's going to spell them. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, you see me? I'm disappearing. Uh, okay. Here are the possible words today. We have music. Yeah. We have talk. The word talk. Yeah, whatever that I that I thought that said tape. Yeah. Okay. Nepo slash nepotism. You could just put nepo, because it's in the nep word nepotism. Uh, I rich. Want to be very specific. Rich, famous, drink, drink, drunk, which is always on there. Yeah. Always. Always. Just so you know. Uh, advantage or disadvantage. Uh, dad or mom. Son or daughter. Movie. And that's that's it. What do you guys think? You like it? I hope you like it. All right, let's do it. We're gonna spin it twice. Yeah, spin but it to son or it. daughter is not inclusive. Son or daughter. You could have said kids. Okay, but I want son, daughter, or kids. Okay, well we'll omit or child kids. Like any word that means child is kind of okay. what I was getting. Okay. At. Yeah, parents, kids, right? But okay. I don't mean just like just the word kids. I mean son, daughter, kids. Or dad, mom, parent, uh, godfather. Okay. Just uh, wanted okay. to make it, you know, sure. Gen Z look, appropriate. Look, I'm don't even mess with me right now, okay? Here we go. Gen Z We're going to spin it twice, spin it to win We're it. We're including and the Gen Zers. Mochi Squeeze, can you do a little jingle? I don't know how to do a little jingle. Just make up a little, like, diddly. Um, I don't know how to do All that. Right. I'm not Gage. Gage does this for your podcast. Boop, 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 oh, nice. Boop, okay. Boop, 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 we got talk. That's one of them. Now, let's I, do one more. I thought it said tape again. Holy Jesus fuck. That doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't Sorry, count. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, you let's got try that one more time. I'm going to just roll weighted. it. Right. I'm like, going to yeah, spin it regular. What the fuck, man? All right. Sorry. It I'm got sorry. Too I'm sorry. Fucking right, here we go. All right. I need to twist this. Yeah. Yeah. How 
unscrewed was that was so unscrewed. Okay. All right, here we go. Next one. <laughs> movie. Okay. So talk and movie. Okay. Okay. You sure. Got it. Talk and movie. I guess. <sighs> All right. Hey, now, you from s- now, you spun just it. whatever, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, you that this fucking wheel sucks, and we should probably replace it with one that works properly. I mean, you could if you want to. Or find a whole other method. You could one do that other. if you would you like. You could do that. All right. So the d- from now on, the uh-huh. words uh-huh. of the week, uh-huh. Uh-huh. if you hear me saying them, including right now, uh-huh. you'll hear a bell, and those words are... After after that bell, from now on, anytime you hear that bell, you got to drink, right? So... Uh-huh. The words of the week are talk and movie. That's right. So it's two sips of your drink. I don't know how many times we'll say these words, but you know, let's see. <coughs> well, we'll like, we'll we'll see, we'll see. Um, well, sure. So let's get into it. So, um, first off, I want to talk about why I want to bring up the ne- why we I want to talk about the nepo babies. Um, I feel like it's um. It is a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, it's a slight problem in the world in general. Slight? Pro- oh, so it went from a problem to a slight problem? Just because, like, sometimes, like, I'm not totally against nepotism, but okay. sometimes nepotism could go awry. Not- and I think that, you know. Okay, so you said you're not totally against it. Can you please elaborate? Well, first, can we just back up the truck and talk about what nepotism yes, is? Yes, Jacob is going to definitely. Right. Let's not address that. What's up, Miguel? I see you in the chat. He said, when is it good? Let's not address that yet. Let's talk about what it even means. Oh, shit. Action cam. Hold on. I banish you, action cam. Okay, we're banishing the action cam. I learned how to do effects. It. It's it's a fun time. Um, okay. You all know it's live, so let's make that go away. So nepotism. Our old fra- uh, pal Wikipedia will tell us what it is. Nepotism is an advantage, privilege, or position that is granted to relatives and friends. Interesting. In an occupation or field, I thought nepotism was specifically relatives, but it's also friends. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, so the- that's why, like, let's, that's why when I'm going to answer Boxcar Miguel thing. Okay. You These know. fields may include, but are not limited to, business, politics, academia, entertainment, sports, fitness, religion, and other activities. The term originated with the assignment of nephews to important positions by Catholic popes and bishops. Huh. Go okay. figure. Nepotism spawned from religion. Nepotism has been criticized since the ancient times by several s- philosophers, including Aristotle, Valivar, hopefully I said that correctly, and Confucius, condemning it, condemning it as both evil and unwise. Talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that a word? It sure is. I wrote them. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. That's right. What's up, Polly Pocket? I see you. All right. I mean, in general, I do agree that it is evil and unwise because mm. ultimately, I think that it ends up badly. Okay? It, it totally ends up badly. But okay. I mean, but I do, I do get that sometimes you what, know what? it's not bad to use every advantage that you have, and if you do have someone in a high place that could hook you up, then okay. But when nepotism gets like terrible, is when like you, so you get hooked up with this position, right? Mm-hmm. And you are like you suck like you suck like like for okay. example you suck nepotism in movies happens all huh? the time right like there yeah. are a bunch of actors and stuff and okay i get it you want to use your your you know parents or whatever to get get a role or or get their your foot in the door in like you know in the acting industry or whatever the fuck Mm -hmm. you're doing yeah but if you prove to suck like you're not a good actor if you prove to suck then you should no longer get any roles like you should no longer have a job because you are not a good actor 
and maybe okay. people should be and people should feel like people should be like encouraged to tell you the real truth like your parent hmm. who is famous shouldn't be like oh just like fucking well, give this guy a job because even if he sucks i don't want you to tell me he sucks no yeah. he's fucking sucks so just like hello right get rid of the person and i don't know maybe the parents is like okay well what if he's i don't want him to be like a deadbeat and he's probably just gonna live off my money forever well that's not everybody else's problem that's your problem right you know so yeah but if you're good True. if you're good but you just needed like someone to give you a little help like a little boost then there's nothing wrong with that because then now like we're exposed to your great talent right you know? I guess to some degree. I mean, it's really like a. It's like you're cutting in line. It's like you're cutting in line. Yeah, it's like you're cutting in line. You know what I mean? I didn't realize Giphy had like clips with sound, so I apologize if you heard weird sounds. So there. you know. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, look, I think that nepotism at its core, it's just not fair. Mm-hmm. Right. I think that's just end of story. True. Uh, because I mean, I can go on an entire rant and we'll get into that later. What I'm, what I, what I think about when we talk about nepotism beyond the obvious things. Uh, and it's like, okay, I know there's some talented people out there that are the son or daughter of whoever the fuck, right. Uh, who are great. You know what I mean? Who like, oh, you know, and, and there's also like a notability, to that and we're just talking specifically about like movies and like actors right mm-hmm. actresses yeah, whatever actors. um like you know you're like oh that's cool that's kurt russell's son you know i like that dude i love kurt russell so of course i'm gonna like the kid's son mm-hmm. but then like mm-hmm. therein that's baked into what the problem is which is like okay well what about all fucking billion of these other actors some of which could be just as good as fucking wyatt russell right but mm-hmm. you just care about kurt russell so you that's the only reason why you want to watch Wyatt Russell, which, you know, also isn't I true. I would never do that. Also isn't true because I the first thing I saw Wyatt Russell in and was who the fucking fuck is black. Wyatt Russell was. Uh, let me finish my thought. The first thing I ever saw Wyatt Russell in was Black Mirror, the episode about the video games where the guy put the uh, this quick spoiler alert. So skip ahead two minutes from now. Uh, he dies immediately when he puts a, this like video game machine in his brain. And then what you experience is like his crazy, like hallucination as he's, his brain is failing. Uh, I didn't know that was, that's a- why I wrestle, but he's also secret agent or, uh, secret, not secret agent, uh, U S agent in, uh, Marvel. Well, he's Kurt Russell. That's Kurt son? Russell's son. Yeah. That's his With name Goldie is Goldie Hawn. Yes, that's so Kurt Russell she, and so Goldie Hawn. So he's related son. to Kate Hudson. He's yes. So there's pictures so of they're like brothers. There's pictures of and like sister. I just saw a picture today. Quit interrupting me. Of fucking Kurt, uh, Wyatt Russell and Kate Hudson hugging, and the whole family standing up there taking pictures in front of like whatever, the paparazzi like going into some kind of opening to something. Interesting. I did not know that. <clears throat> didn't know that. Yes, I didn't know that. That's that Wyatt was, Russell. I did um, not know that. But then it's like, okay, do I like White Russell? Of course I do. But like, what about all these other possible okay, actors but did you that know? nobody fucking even knows? Okay. Because they're rolling around in the streets, uh, uh, the streets of Las Vegas, flicking cards next to the other guys, you know, trying to make a buck because they want to be an actor. But then they're, you know what I mean? I don't think they're trying I don't to know. be actors here. I'm Look, I'm just trying to say, all right, what about the little guy? Fuck the rich people. They but just there get. Are they, are, they wake up. They wake up. They have money. They have the silver spoon. They have the opportunities, and they just waltz I into the fucking life. I could name a handful of actors that weren't nepo babies that made it. That are big A listers right now. No, I know that, but I'm just saying that like. I mean, and that does happen, but I'm just saying that like, what I'm trying to talk about is why nepotism is isn't fair. Okay, yes, you have no, a fast track no. into things. I agree that right? it's not fair. Okay, um, but let's talk about <laughs> hold on, hold what on. Polly po- Pocket said. Yeah, Polly okay. Pocket in the chat said, "Is it nepotism when my Filipino hygienist bumps me to the first in line for my teeth cleaning? Yes, is that racial nepotism, ethnic re- nepotism? I'd say racial, cultural, cultural, 
Yes. I, Cultural We, we don't nepotism. know what the right term is for shit anymore. You know what I mean? Because, like, whatever Twitter is. But, like, I don't know. You but know. is yes. that, see, would that is people nepotism. be mad about I would say that? Yes. yes, there are some people who would be mad about that. It's giving you but that. But is it okay to do? <laughs> yes, I think that's Why? fine. What makes it okay? Because. Just because you're Filipino and I'm Filipino, now you get to skip the whole line. I would never that's ask not, for it. That's but not if, fair. If someone offered it fair. to me. Okay, so are you telling me if someone offered you something because you're Mexican? Yeah. And then you, they offered you. You didn't ask for it. They wouldn't do they it. They offered. First of all, they'd be you like, nobody believes I'm Mexican. Line. Let's so start there. So would you, would you take it or would you be like, no, bro, it's fine. I, no, I of course will I would stay go for in it. line like everybody else because I am not going to do that. Dude, the point Are of nepotism is that it's an advantage and any sane person will go for, will take advantage of any advantage. Yeah. Because of course that's your way of getting ahead. Uh, Miguel says I would wait, and you know you're you're an honorable guy. Uh, you would I wait. I value my time. Okay, uh, you, I'm not real? a dick. <laughs> he would. He, hey, seriously. you know I'm a dick. But the point the point remains that it's not fair. Okay, and like that interaction shouldn't even happen at all. That's I all mean, I'm okay, saying. Okay, I That's think what the nepotism, unfair part is if yeah. you ask for it. But if someone offers it to you, I think it's perfectly fine to take it. Okay, fair enough. Like, if someone offers... That's why, like, if I was, like... Let's say I wanted to be... Job. If I wanted to be a singer. And uh-huh. then my mom was, like, a famous singer. And I was just trying to make it. And I did not ask my mom for help. But then I... And I didn't use Talk. her name. I didn't use her name, right? Like, I, I didn't use her name at all. Mm-hmm. But I went out to stuff. But someone knew who I was and said, Hey, aren't you so-and-so's daughter? I'd be like, Oh, yeah, I am. And then they say, oh, okay, well, do you want to record a track with us? I would be like, sure. Dude, why not? That shit is like happens 24-7, bro. Like all the time. Guaranteed. See? So, I mean. You know what I mean? It's like there's so many people out there who are just like so-so at things and just kind of waltz into it and like. No, but I would expect to that okay person to that. tell me the truth. If I came in there. Who's going to tell I you sucked. the truth? You're a rich kid. And Nobody I tells sucked. a fucking rich kid I would kid the be truth. like, Great okay, job. well, tell me if I suck because I don't want to be on these tracks. And then like people are going to hear me. And then like I suck. Like you should tell me straight up front. Like, hey, I don't think this is the right business for you. Like, let's do something else. Maybe be a dancer. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh-huh. Something. But still, the point is a ne- nepotism is opportunity at the okay, end of the so day. Okay, so do you think... People have way more opportunities when they are already well... When they wake up, when they first open their eyes out of a vagina, and they are already w- more well off okay. than, a, than a man who's like in his 30s. Okay, you know so what if I mean? you're... Uh, okay, let's say, we, let's say <laughs> you became a famous DJ, right? Right. You became a famous DJ. We had kids. Sure. Your son said... I want to follow in your footsteps. I want to be a DJ. Yeah. And then you teach him. Fast he's track. like good. Already. He's good. And then like, and, and you think he's good. Like you listen to him and you're not, you're, you're not being biased. You just, you're just like, son, you are yeah. good. And then he goes out and makes his way and you're playing EDC. Would you bring him on the stage to DJ with you? Or you'd be like, yeah. fuck you, bro. No, duh. Obviously. But that's the thing. It's, it's like. You have to examine the word bias and understand what that word really means. And that's like bias is something that you just have. You you aren't so half, half the time you're not even conscious of your biases. You just have a bias. Everyone does. Your own children, of course. Your family and even your friends. I don't know. Always going to be biased. If my brother, always, if my always. if my brother sucked, I would straight up tell him. I'd be like, no, of course. If my kid sucked at DJing then I would definitely let them know. You know what I'm saying? But if they were good and whatever, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, like, oh, let's get in the studio. Let's fuck around, you know? But, like, at the same time, that regardless of who my kids are, if they wanted to come on stage at EDC just to, like, stand there and, like, wave or something, I would do that. Like, what the fuck? That's obvious. Why not? Just saying. I'm just saying, but it's still an, a, nepo, a nepotistic uh opportunity to even be on the stage at edc at any form and like that's the point nepotism is an advantage right that's that's what this wikipedia started with yeah. it's an advantage a privilege mm-hmm. or a posi- position that is granted to relatives and friends wow. in an occupation and i would or like field. to uh, pose that question to whoever's watching too 
if you became rich <laughs> or famous or uh. whatever, would you let would you give opportunity to your children? Like opportunity that you didn't have, like you know, and have help them get their foot in the door, or would you just be like, you know, no, fuck you, because you should learn what it's like to like, you know, look, this struggle is, like I did. This basically. is this is why Nicolas Cage is a badass, okay? Because he changed his name so that he didn't have to use the Coppola last name, because he wanted to make it as an actor, like his own way. Okay, wait, wait, okay, and time out. Nick Cage is a fucking badass for that. That's what I was going to bring up next. So do you think all the people who did change their name, all yeah. the people who did change their name because they didn't want to be tied to their family, do you think they still use their family? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what's the fucking point of changing your fucking name? I, if you still well, use uh, you the don't family know. Look, clout. here's the thing. You don't know that for sure. You only that, know like people, people's stories about their lives are what you hear about it, right? There's more to it, but like I want to believe in Nick Cage that he didn't really have opportunities other than the ones he went for. You know what I mean? But like, I'll look. I'll give the Nepo babies uh, credit for like trying to distance themselves and make their own way, right? Versus mm-hmm. like, you know, a- any any of these other fucking Nepo babies. Like, uh, what's her name? Uh, I'm looking at her right now. The chick from fucking Beverly Hills, uh, Tori Spelling. Yes. Okay. Tori Spelling was the number <laughs> That's one. That's a nepo baby like, nepo in the nineties. Yeah. Sure. The nineties are hot right now, so I thought it was a hot topic to bring her up. Yeah. No. But also, I, I'm but looking I'm at a picture that, like, of her right now. But that's why it's like, okay, all these actors that say, oh yeah, okay, I, I changed my name because I didn't want to be associated with my family. But it's like, are you did like sure you changed your name, but in the back, like, did you did they talk to someone for you? Because they could have been like, that's what I'm Daddy trying to say. Daddy could have been like. Hey, okay, give him a chance. Son. All right, that's my son. My son, um, Martin Sheen. He's my son. So if you see that name, like you know, you yeah. just go ahead and push him to the front of the line. Yeah, you, you hear know what I mean. You yeah, hear a Sheen. You hear a Sheen. You put your phone down and you pay just attention. Just know right? that that is really a Douglas <laughs> or whatever the fuck <laughs> their name was or whatever. Estevez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, Estevez or whatever Estevez. the fuck. Wait, was it Estevez? Estevez. Who's, who's, Michael, who's Douglas? Estevez. Was Douglas was the change? No, Douglas is Douglas, dog. Like, Douglas. My, wait, am I, th- am I mixing two families Yes, together? you are. The Sheens, man. The Sheens are not the Douglases. Who's the Douglas then? Michael Douglas. Okay, and then? I don't know. Fucking Douglas who's Douglas. Who's the one married to Catherine <laughs> Zeta-Jones? Isn't that Michael Douglas? Okay, then who's the one that had the throat cancer? (laughs) I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, hold on. Michael Douglas. Help me out, chat. I don't fucking know this shit. Michael Douglas family. Children. No. Father. Uh, Jesus Christ. Am I looking up? Kirk Douglas. There you go. Kirk Douglas. That's I think that's his dad, right? Yeah, Kirk Douglas and Diana Dill. What kind of name is that? Okay, so Kirk Douglas is married to Catherine Zeta-Jones? Yeah. I and didn't know they had then, like three kids. It's kind of crazy. And then Michael Douglas yeah. is Kirk Douglas's. No, Michael Douglas is married to Catherine is Zeta, Zeta Jones or whatever her name is. Kirk Douglas is Michael Douglas's dad. Oh, I've been trying okay. to. I was okay. saying this over and over. Okay. Um, was okay. he married to Sharon Stone or something? Fuck if I know. I don't know. Huh. Oh no, it's because they're both in Basic Instinct. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we're getting off topic. Okay, uh, but listen, anyways, yeah. Listen. So, all right, listen. And it also happens in like you know, not just in movies. It happens in like well, in the workplace. In it's music, rampant. It, it happens in the workplace all the it's time, rampant, dude. Yes. The, and the, the only reason why I worked at In and Out at all for, and I worked there for ten years because my sister worked there. First. Oh yeah, and then guess what? Did you jump on the chance to to like? Just be hired because your sister was uh, was working. Well, for of it course. Okay. Why would I not? Okay. Well, no, actually, okay. I did not jump. So in the you chance. jumped. I the did line. not jump on the chance. They bo- they were like, my mom was like, I bought you a Honda. OK, you have a Honda car. You can only have it if you have a job. You need to go get a fucking job so you can pay for your insurance. You need to take this job. And then Jesse just kept bringing me like uh, cheeseburgers with just spread and pickles after her shifts and stuff. 
Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, man, this food is pretty good. Maybe I should go work there. And then I worked there and I ate like every uh, burger every single day See? that I worked. But still. It was so good. Nepotism. That is nepotism. Mm-hmm. Straight up. That's Happened. an opportunity for me. But were you a sucky Nepo baby? No, you were not. You kicked ass on the grill. You did some shit. You worked, right? So yeah. then it, it happened. Well, you know, when I but was then, 16, I was just probably really shitty. Yeah, but, but that's why, like, I, I don't want to refer I anyone. Learned. Like, uh, let's just talk about, like, w- like when people ask for referrals. Okay. Like, I'm not going to hook anyone up with a job because I don't trust people. So I will not say, hey, hire this person because I don't know. I could, I could, we could be friends, but I'd be, I'd be like, I don't know. I've never worked with you. You're never, you're, you're a friend. We're not a coworker. So I don't know if your work ethic Mm -hmm. is, is what I want to like, you know, refer. Yeah. We're not drinking enough. Talk, talk, talk. See? It's bullshit. But that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm a bitch like that. So don't ask me to <coughs> refer you to anything unless I know how you work because I won't. Okay, do let it. me ask you this question and I want you to be honest. Let's say your family lived here. Okay. You had an opportunity to refer your niece. My niece, Olivia. Yeah. Would you do that? For what? Whatever. Let's like say front desk or something? Like reception? Something that she could do. And let's say she's like 20 or 18 or something. You know what I mean? Like she's like, you know, old enough to do the. To do the work, whatever. I would refer her, but I would sit down with her and I would be like, Olivia, if you embarrass me, I'm going to fucking hate you and I'm <laughs> not going to give you any money. <laughs> On your birthday, oh yeah, money will be cut down to $10. Damn. That's what would happen. I would be like, I would have to threaten her with my, I would $10? have to threaten her. What I'd be it? like, you cannot embarrass me. If you embarrass <laughs> me, I will fire you myself. That's <laughs> what I would say to her. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's what I would do because That's I good. I can't I I can't I can't have my good name be smudged by well, like this is why someone I, I referred. I don't refer people because I Well, because you I don't just don't people? really well, I just don't know people qualified for like what I can refer them to. It's for. because you Does don't trust sense? other people's work ethic. Well, it's the fine. people that I could refer, maybe, but like it depends on the person and the job, I guess. You know what I mean? I just, it's just like if if I was at In and Out and my cousin who does work there now needed a job, which I, I guess would refer so him, doesn't make us That's like different. really good. What do you call the no. people? Like we wouldn't be Look, into the nepo thing because we wouldn't do that if we <clears> didn't really like super trust them. Look, because I'm not, I think nepotism I'm not, becomes a problem if you're just referring people just because you know them or their family. You know what I mean? Right, like, but we, you we vet them out first. But yeah, vet vet. Well, that's uh-huh. the thing. Yeah, like yeah, you're right because I wouldn't like. Mm-hmm. Like for an accounting job or whatever, mm-hmm. I wouldn't just refer anyone, right? Unless they're like qualified. Like for instance, if I was in a position, I know Miguel's in the chat to hook Miguel up with a you know a job in a you know in a place mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Fuck mm-hmm. it, like I would do that, uh-huh. of course, because mm-hmm. you know he like he's qualified and you know what I mean. I know his work ethic and stuff like that. And you guys so, like, like talk it out, right? And that's the thing is like that's still nepotism, right? But, like, I would do that. But I'm not just out here like, hey, you want to work here? Hey, you want to work here? Like, I'm not just tossing them out left and right. You know what I mean? It has to be right. Because at the end of the day, like, I don't want to be on the line. For referring someone for, stupid? Well, just, yeah, I mean, not stupid. But I don't want to be on the line for people who are going to let me down. I and would like, there's refer people in my there's people in my life to any job. There's, so, girl, you get my golden stamp of <laughs> approval. I would refer you because I, I already know. I would refer her to. Yeah, I already know, and I don't say that about a lot of people. And I I know I wouldn't have to threaten your ass. Like I would refer. There's like there's people in my life I would refer. But the thing is, like all those people are like well off. They're good. They're fine. I don't need yeah. to refer them. It's the people that. Don't oh. aren't good that I wouldn't. There are you know some I mean? people, people that are in my well life off that, that have well a better off. position than than me that I wouldn't refer to anything because I clearly think they got their position for not work related stuff. <clears throat> so wow, 
Uh, I mean, not sex stuff, just like okay. you know, like <laughs> because they were a nepo baby, and and maybe, but they're and so they are doing better than I am. But I would okay. never refer them because, like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't even want to work with them. If I don't want to, if I if I cannot work with you, I would never refer you to anything. Oh yeah, that that's mm. the thing. Like, if I cannot work, if I already know I can't work with you, I will never refer you anywhere. Like, so don't even ask me. So I agree with you, and that's what all I'm going to put it with, and I'll tell you later what what my thoughts are on that one. But yeah, so let's move uh, on. Uh, so uh, like, you know. I found this really interesting. The, the term nepotism itself mm-hmm. comes from an Italian word, nepotismo. I thought it came from, like, Catholic people. No, 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 no. The term, the word. Oh. Comes the term comes from the Italian word nepotismo. If you remember, where where is the fucking Vatican? Italy. Italy. Okay. Yeah. Dirt. Uh. But it's because the Catholic people like were the rich people back then, so of course they would be like nepotizing the shit out of everything. Duh. Well, I mean, you know, that kind of brings us to what I'll talk about in a sec. But uh, without jumping too far ahead, right? The the word the word that nepotism comes from is Italian word nepotismo, which is based on Latin root nepos, meaning nephew. Yeah, we that know that from the uh, talk we had earlier. Uh, a la Snoop Dogg. Okay. What? Uh, what? Because he calls everyone nephew. Uh, go ahead and hand me another oh. drink when you have a second, please. Thank you very much. Since the Middle Ages and until the late 17th century, some Catholic popes and bishops who had taken vows of chastity and therefore usually had no legitimate offsprings of their own, makes sense, gave their nephews such positions of preference as were often accorded by fathers to and sons. And of course it would be a nephew because on, they nephew. hated fucking women. Well, duh. It's People still be a man. do hate women. It has to yeah. be a man because it was a man's yeah. world. Well, Fuck. all you ladies man. can do is be a fucking uh, nun. Baby That's machine. It. No, That's no. It. Or nuns. You serve Jesus. You are not that allowed to That got raped fucked. occasionally. Yeah, duh. Because it's fucking obviously this shit is all bullshit. That's See? my fucking point. Um, several popes elevated nephews and other relatives to cardinalate. Which uh, I'm assuming means, yeah, a cardinal. So that like popes would just be like, oh, the, hey, hey, Stephen, I know you're just my nephew. You're you're 17 years old, but you're now a cardinal. Enjoy. Yeah. And that's it. But sometimes, do you think that like <laughs> what the fuck, man? If you were, do Yikes. you think sometimes nepotism could go wrong? It, it could go reverse, where like they didn't want like to be in to follow in your footsteps. But right. Then yeah. You're, but then they for your parents forced you to do it. Okay. So we're kind of getting historical right now. So like, this is what I sort of wanted to shift into a little bit to talk about, and that's like, think about monarchies, kings and queens, right? Isn't that what we're just talking about basically at this point? But is that isn't that the ultimate? That isn't that nepotism? the ultimate form of nepotism? I mean, sure. At that point, it's a duty. But you're also like being elevated to a lord status because you're related to the king, right? Because That's you were a direct, um, even son indirect, or daughter. even indirect descendants are like dukes and fucking mm, governors yeah, okay. and mayors true, and stuff. It's true, all the fucking family true. line, right? Like, think about every kingdom you could think of. Yeah, it's, like that rapist. This is fucking. St- you know jacob the fifth over here Mm -hmm. but i'm sorry this this one is a fucking has a peg leg uh so he gets thrown in the dungeon no he still gets to be king because he's the firstborn no i think they would just how it is well he might have a short rule jacob the fifth but jacob the sixth now that guy that guy's a sadistic bastard and he likes to just murder babies like left and right and that's kind of fucked up that's but sad. he just has to be king now because he's the son. And then the True. next son, maybe okay. the next son will be nice. Jacob the seventh. Now that's the good one. But then there's a rebellion and then he's beheaded. And then, you know, then what? Mm. Yeah. Um, but that, I mean, it's, but think about it, right? That's like, depressing nepotism. That's, <laughs> but that's kind that's of what depressing I'm getting at. Nepotism. Is that like Shit. nepotism has been around forever, right? Like yeah. ruling Gosh. classes 
Ruling classes are all yeah, about Joffrey, wanting their he people. Been, we needed to murder that motherfucker. I was so happy <laughs> when that fuck. Everybody was all scared. Like everyone was scared for that fuck because he was a. Sadistic yeah, but we all know Jacob the Seventh. He was the softest because he was the nicest, and that's why yeah, they overthrew him. Yeah, he fell in love him. with a girl, and then he, f- and then yeah, he, he like got, jumped out you know of a I mean? window. No, 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 he got his head cut off. Remember, that's the canon that I created. Oh yeah. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about? Oh, Game of Thrones. Are you talking about Hot House of the yeah. Dragon now? No, Game of Thrones, where like <laughs> Joffrey's brother became king, and then he fell in love with that oh, girl. Oh right, yeah. And but then, then like they he... shipped him off to like fucking some no, kind of island. No, they like didn't they? they like spoilers murdered her or like made her off to someone, and then so he uh, jumped out of the window. Yeah, I remember that happening, but but anyway, thought that was House of the Dragon, dude. Besides that. So I, I honestly don't think you remember that much of uh, Game of Thrones. Okay, like, I really want to rewatch Game of Thrones. Okay, <sighs> but then it's a very so that's depressing. one of the that's one of the series <laughs> that's very depressing. It's really hard for me <laughs> to to try to put myself through that again because there was yeah. a lot of times where I was suffering emotional turmoil from not knowing what would happen to these people because they were they were going through some torturous shit like. I, that's how I know I could never be tortured. Everybody, everybody, oh, no. if you ever wanted uh, information, if you even tried to pull out a nail, I would be, I would give up all, I would give everything up. Sorry, everybody. <clears throat> yeah. I would do that. So don't, don't trust me with se- sensitive information like that where you think, then because, don't like, ask. I would, be, I would be tortured. If, if they even tried to torture me, I would crack <laughs> because I can't, <laughs> I can't suffer that. It, 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 it's terrible. I watched Honestly, someone get tortured, and dude, I was tortured. Imagine you being tortured. Someone. When did you watch someone get tortured? In Game of Thrones. Okay, that's not actual torture. Though, they but. chopped off someone's penis. Have you ever seen someone's head? They, Have you ever seen a head get it like, was like sliced off with a box okay, cutter? One, it was rough. emotional torture, and it was physical torture. Because they let this Are motherfucker... Are you talking about Reek right now? Yeah, they let this motherfucker think he escaped. Dude, you're just spoiling this and whole ass show. Then, you are spoiling the entire I'm show. I'm sorry, if you didn't watch Game of Thrones by now, like you, you, there's some sort of problems. It's either you just didn't want to watch it, which I respect, <laughs> or like you just are just... Can we drink some wrong. more? Movie and talk. Thank you. So like they so they did that and then they chopped off his dick after that. That's fucked up. Okay, that was a massive spoiler. Um, <clears throat> damn. They did though. Anyways. And then then they didn't they like eat sausage like in another scene or that something. That is so fucked up. That's why they like fucking. <laughs> that poor man. I mean, he okay, was no, a but hold on. Let's asshole, talk about real shit. monarchies though for a second. He was a fucking uh, asshole, but fuck, he wasn't as bad as like Joffrey. They should have tortured that fuck. So when I say succession, do you know what that means? Yeah. You know, like the next person in line, oh. right? Nepotism. You should probably watch Succession on HBO. Yeah. Well, for modern, modern, for like for corporate, modern, modern corporate. you know what I mean? Uh, capitalist, mm-hmm. capitalist nepotism, which is what we're dealing with now. Capitalist nepotism is the worst, I feel. It's just, because it, it's just the, the world. Worst. It's they're just the way of the world. Just, they're just trying well, to Well, you know, like, everybody. I mean, look at, look at the Trumps, you know, that's. That's a fucking breeding ground of uh, nepotism, right? I know. It only takes one of them the to top just of try the to change, but none of them Food chain do. here in this country. If we only had one rogue, some point. W- rogue Trump, then it might change the world. Yeah. Well, all right. So the succession of monarchs in many cases, I mean, succession meaning they like the, ne- murder that person. the next person. <laughs> How, I mean, I don't know. This is That's hearsay. Uh, the succession of monarchs in many cases has been heretic, her, heretical, her, heretical, yes. Why did it, why was that so hard to read? Uh, has been heretical, often building dynastic periods. Uh, so that just means, you know, heredity or whatever, uh, hereditary, heretical. That just means familial, right? Like family, people you're related to. Uh, and dynastic. Is people become incest? No, di- what? No. I'm reading a sentence. I'm trying to explain what the sentence means. Okay. Okay, so let's try again. Try again. Succession means the next person in line. Heretical means family, right? Mm-hmm. So the succession of monarchs in many cases has been heretical, obviously, right? Because it's like usually the son of the king, right? Often building dynastic periods. 
And do you know what a what a dynasty is? Mm-hmm. I do know what. Okay, a dynasty what's a dynasty? Is. It's um. Explain it to the the podcast. It's like a a whole full line of people that are from the same family that rule for a very long time. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like in China, right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of dynasties. Like there's the Ming Dynasty mm-hmm. and the The whatever. dynasty rises and it falls, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. It's like one family's control That's of That's why they always country, want or power to have for a, long a time. boy. Well, to carry on the name. Right, right, I guess. And the uh, because I mean, they, cause if it's a woman, then they don't... Even well, though like that's total bullshit because they could... But you know th- we're living in a patriarchal <laughs> society, so it is a know, patriarchy. It's all like fuck off <laughs> to women. <laughs> Fucking well, I mean, look if and other talking. other forms of government and th- other schools of thought, women could carry the fucking last name line, right? Because we can, but then everyone's all like, uh, like. Whatever happened to us back in the day, we all just think this. Yeah, there's no way of getting past it, right? There's, We just all think this thing where, like, the fucking. You have to take the last name yeah, of the husband, Yeah, you have to take right? the last name of the husband, but that's fucking stupid. Because if like, you don't, it's, like, disrespectful to the family or something. That's right? why I say every that's conservative time I get married. If I got married, I would never take that person's last name. And you know what? I never did. And guess what? I won't. Damn. In the future. Well, you do have a cool last name. I'll give it to you. Hey, Ramasam Bob. Yeah, it's Jones. You it's okay. Want, I you can don't say be, it because you don't want to be Mochi Jones. will not be able to spell that. You don't want to be Mochi Jones. You want to be Mochi uh, Ramasam Bob. Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. I, it's it's the boring. slander. So boring. Fucking, uh, you're talking mean to me right now. So boring. That's a bell. There's a lot of... You know, this is there's a lot of Joneses very out telling. There. This is very telling. There's a lot of right Joneses here. out there, but there's not a bunch of Ramasam Bobs out there. I mean, that's true, but you know, uh, you disrespect my family. You I think you should take my name. Me, if we no, got married, I'm not taking Ramasam Bob, dude. I don't want to have to spell that all the time. It's crazy. Jacob Ramasam Bob. I only have to spell it. Everybody half the time. vote for it, listeners. Don't you think you that if do a we poll? got, if we, if me and Jacob got married. Don't you think it would be like poll. great if his name was Ramasambab? It would be Jacob <laughs> Ramasambab. I know there's a way to do a poll. I just don't know. Just how. saying. Just saying. Sounds rolls off the tongue. No. <laughs> rolls, rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Jacob Ramasambab. Jacob Jones is a pretty cool name. You know what I mean? There's. Did you know that there's the same amount of letters in my first name? As my last name. How Because I say that I say that to people a lot. We can't hyphenate see me. Hyphenate bitch. That would be way you too want long. us both well, but then which one comes first? Ramasambab. Whoa, man. How about the whatever your first la- your actual last name is is first for the person, right? So I'd be Jones Ramasan Bob, you'd be Ramasan Jones Ramasan Bob Jones. <laughs> Or you could what just I just say, Ramasam Jones. You could mix it together and it would oh, be yeah. Jama Bob. <laughs> Jama Bob. Jama Bob. That's cool. No, no, it'd be yeah, jo- it would be. No, hold on. It would be. Ha- it would be John Sama Bob. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's really funny. I feel like mine's is better. Uh, John Sama Bob. Jama Bob. Jama Bob. Jama Bob sounds like some kind of weird ass Pokemon, dude. Yeah, you guys should fucking make a Pokemon. Why don't you guys do this on fucking Neon Pocket Dimension? We could. Have we done a Neo Pokemon for you yet? For Mocha yeah, Squeeze? Yeah, I think you guys did, but it was like, um, I forgot what, was what it? it was. Was you it pink or something? I forgot. I forget. We're not to pull that up. But, anyways, like, we're getting off uh, topic. Just now. remember Neon Pocket Dimension, look it up, Google it baby yeah do it um check it okay. out okay but anyway so uh let's, let's go l- 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 okay so, so like i was trying to say right to me it feels like a monarchy is nepotistic mm-hmm. because i mean like what what's a monarchy in your face right now obviously it's the one in england right it's the royal family you know we the queen just died it passed on to what? Her husband or her son? Her was it son. her son? Her husband fucking died. I don't know she this shit. And it I'm asking. Pass to a husband. Don't look at me like, oh, it's not I don't like know. In Game of Thrones Just stop. Just the, fucking tell me. Concert. I'm asking questions. You don't need to yell. All right. 
Yeah. So it passed to the son, who's uh-huh. also old as dirt. No, he's not old as he dirt. He looks like a fucking raisin, like, I think took a shit. Took a shat out a skeleton, dude. I think he's, like... What? 60? That's... I mean, he don't look 60. 60? Have you seen his fingers? I don't know. We would have have you seen his pocket. hands? 60? Dude, it's like in Everything Everywhere at Once with the hot dog hands. He's got those real actual hot dog what hands. What a spoiler. <laughs> You're spoiling shit, too. Yeah, but mine's is old shit. You know what? Shut up. All right? Mine's I'm sorry for spoiling stuff. For the movie. This is a spoiler-filled episode. We will put a thing in the bottom. We're going to spoil things. And I apologize. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is it passed on to her son, right? Yeah. That's nepotism. No? No, it is. And then her fucking, like, other descendants get to be the duke of that and the fucking duke of this. And then everyone's got power no, yes. in their stupid family. Yes, I understand that. Even though it's more, that. uh, even though it's more, uh, uh, symbolic these days, they yeah. still have access to a shit ton of money. From what I understand taxpayer money yeah taxpayer money. tax Maybe people mm-hmm. like the people who live in england just give their money to this fucking monarchy I don't and it makes no they sense want to, me. to do that anymore but you no know, they don't they might, they might be voting on i don't it, think maybe i don't know but, but that's like, what i'm trying to say is like what's more nepotistic than like waking was being born yeah, we just the give, son of a queen yeah, so our money and then just having money to, like like given to you by citizens of the place you yeah, live so in america what we don't fuck? give our money to like you know a monarchy but we do uh definitely give our we money might to, as well like, um, because we do the same type of shit we just you know we president. pay taxes and then, okay, we're getting political political on this episode. Uh, we pay taxes, and the taxes go to a bunch of fucking rich assholes. What are you talking about? No, they don't. Whatever. Some of the taxes go to, like, welfare and, like, sure. infrastructure Some stuff. Some public works. And, like, but then everyone wants to privatize everything. And dude, then the government get, want to get, like, wants to give, like, subsidies all, to people. I'm the first person to want to you get rid I mean? of taxes. But let's, like, let's No, no, no. Just... You don't get rid of taxes. I'm just saying, like, the point is, right, rich people get a lot of things. And their kids get a lot of things. And that's oh, kind of, that's what yeah. nepotism is, right? Yes. It's just, like... People in high positions, whatever that means, money, power, opportunity, right? And just being handed it because they exist. Because they're simply born. Yes, which born, is very bad. Yes, or or, I or they're that. the friends of someone's daughter or whatever because th- those people are rich. Then everybody's just in this little 1% fucking That's bubble. That's why you just have to be good you know at what networking. Mean? Yeah. And being friends with people. Charisma. And high, being high charisma. High charisma. That's correct. Yeah. Guess who Break has that? Break through the mold. Guess who has that? Yeah, who? who? See me, bitch, has that. Oh, yeah. She's the best. Yeah. I don't have that. <laughs> you Look, you have charisma. No, I don't have that. You just no, don't. don't have that. You, you're not. No, I, I don't think have you that. You have charisma. I only have that when I'm drunk. I don't That's have that. That's what I was getting at. I only have that you when got- I'm drunk. <laughs> I only have that when I'm drunk, and I always have to be around certain people to like oh, have that ex- expressed out. So, Look, I I hope that conversation wasn't too heavy for everyone listening, mm-hmm. but you know, whatever. So you know? that's why I know that I whatever. am only only gonna. Uh, that's why I know because Slide. I don't have that skill, like on a normal basis without <clears> being <throat> drunk. That like I am only gonna reach a certain point. Is that sad? Yeah, but hey, that's the way our society works right now. Exactly. Like you just, it's True. just who you, like um, Boxcar Miguel said earlier, it's just who you know and who you're fucking. And guess what? I don't judge I people. I miss that. I, don't, I do not judge <laughs> people really if you want to fuck to get ahead. Because, you know, use what you got. If you want to fuck to get ahead, sure. Like It's who ahead. you know and who you are fucking. Yeah, like, just go ahead. It's do incredible. that thing. But I'm not going to. Oh, I can't do that. Because no. cause yeah. sex in me is emotional. It's well, like you're also it not going to. transactional for me. So, you're also not going to, you know, like. You're not gonna brown nose. You're not a brown noser. Oh, I can't kiss you ass. Can't. Yeah, yeah. You're that, not an ass kisser. You, you're like fuck you. 
You're like, yeah. I fucking hate you yes. and you're lucky yeah, I'm even yeah, talking yeah, to you. Yeah. Like, that's your disposition. <laughs> I hate talking to people. So if I have to, like, if I have to oh, kiss your God. ass, it's like, I'll just take the, I'll just take the L. <laughs> take that uh, L. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Take I'll that just, L and talk to an I, ass. I will just Hit be like, it's okay. It's so it's okay. I'll just be in this position because I am not going to stick my nose in your asshole. Ooh. You know, just not. That's hot. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I found this article that I thought was kind of interesting. I won't go too much no. further into this. Go to, we need what? to move on from these old farts. No, no, listen for one second. I said, I'll just go on really quick. I just found it to be really interesting that, uh, <clears throat> it's just a thought. And, like, this is just, like, an interesting thought. It's the, the fact that, like, there's a lot of monarchies that don't exist anymore, but the family lines of those monarchies still exist to the point where, like, if there was a kingdom or, like, mm-hmm. you know, a king's position, uh-huh. the person that should be king right now, those people exist still. Oh, and they're, I mean, they're I'm out sure. there. You know what I mean? They're hanging out, right? Except so, for the Romanovs. They're. Oh yeah, they got fucking re- like they got they're erased. They got erased off the planet. <laughs> okay, so I'll just so, we'll, you know, I'll just do this really there quick. Aren't but any I just Romanovs there unless you believe in the Anastasia conspiracy thing, but mm, yeah, those fuckers are right. dead. Right, right. Are so D E D dead. So uh just I'm just gonna read like a couple of these. So like Austria Hungary dismantling of Austria Hungarian Empire nineteen eighteen was a des- direct result of World War One. After Franz Ferdinand's assassin, assassination in 1914, Karl I became the heir to the throne and assumed it in 1916. His grandson, Karl von Hadsburg, is alive today and the natural heir to the past empire. So this guy just hanging out somewhere in a house. There's no he, one who cares he's about like, royals He could be a Austria. king. He could be a king if the kingdom still was a kingdom, right, and not just a country, and he's just hanging out. And I just thought that was like... That's something I never thought about is like there's all of these like, you know, rightful heirs that like are no longer rightful heirs because, of course, not like there's no heir to anything anymore. When like there's this big list of people like there's a dude in Germany, right? Uh, George Frederick Ferdinand. He's also the fourth great grandson of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. You know what I mean? He's just hanging out Mm -hmm. still alive Mm -hmm. to this day. There's basically just, like, kings and queens just hanging out, like, you know, what, going to work at the factory? Like, you know yeah, what I mean? no, that's, that's exactly how it is It's pretty interesting to me, like, to so. even have that thought. Um, so, anyway, besides all that king-queen bullshit, let's get into the fun stuff. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff. So- oh, first of all, George Washington said that he hated nepotism because uh, when we... When we founded this country, we we're like, "Fuck the king! We don't care about the king, man. We want a capitalist society, right?" So I just wanted to say that. Yeah. So guess what, everybody? All those people that are like, you know, oh yeah, we gotta respect what our Here, forefathers wanted. Um, they didn't want nepotism. This is what John Adams said: "I dislike and detest hereditary honors, offices, emoluments established by law." Interesting, right? Mm-hmm little American uh, history there. My political conduct in nominations must be exceedingly circumspect and proof against just criticism. For the eyes of Argus are upon me. Ooh, that's okay. nice. That's good. This is a little bit of history okay, for you. So, um, yeah, it's fun. Let's talk about, like... Yeah, now we'll get into the stuff you want to talk about, which is, like, you know, a bunch of fucking celebrities or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll get into the celebrity ones and the special one that I sent you, first of all. Oh, no, okay. that's a great article, and okay. I'm really excited to read um, that. So... Fuck yeah. That's let's cool. just talk about the c- celebrity and model Nepo babies, because that's Well, do you really want to go through... I, so, I, I've brought up countless articles that have lists and stuff. Do you want to just kind of flip through those, and it'll be conversation sure, starters? Sure, sure. Let's All right, that. so like, I have I have a bunch, and I know there will be repeats, so be warned. We'll skip the repeats Wait, as we hit the, the first, articles. But before um, you go, before you pull them up. What's that? Wh- what Nepo baby was a surprise to you? A shocker. That, like, oh, you didn't uh, know when we get was there, a Nepo baby. Dude. And they, wa- and they were Nepo baby. They were, like, someone's whatever. So there yeah. is one in... One of these lists that I we will get to, and I just can't remember, but when I was reading this earlier, 
uh, there was one for sure. And when we get there, I promise I will bring that up. Okay, but you I can't know remember. what was your mind? O- originally, like, I was, uh, it was Jack Quaid, probably. Because the boy, you know, I love the boys. He's the, you know, Dewey, or is his, oh. his name Dewey in that show? Uh, the show The Boys on, I think, Amazon uh, video or whatever. Uh, he's like the main character besides, uh, what's his name? Mine's was... Billy the Butcher. Denzel Washington's son. Oh, really? I, I, did knew, not I knew know that, that immediately for some the reason. The one from Ballers? Yeah. The, how did you know that? I he just knew it. The, no, I just knew it, dude. Like, I don't know why. Even, I don't know if it's because I saw his name or something or whatever. I, I just kind of knew know. it right away. I was shocked. I think that, like, really? I first found out... When I think they were accepting an Academy Award for something. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, are you fucking sure? And they're like, oh, yeah, that is. And I was like, what? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's wild. Maya Hawk got me, too. And but I'd say Jack Quaid is the one though. It is the one like Napo baby that like when I never saw it. And then when someone said, oh, no, that's Dennis Quaid's son. I was like, ah, I see it. Of course, yes. Oh, dude, dude, wait till you see the one. I just remembered who it was, but I don't want to spoil it because we're gonna don't go through spoil these lists. It. Okay, fine. Because we'll I might not lists. know. I didn't know that. Fucking, what's his name? I um, I got lists here. Russell Wyatt Russell was like. Oh, I love Wyatt I didn't Russell. I didn't even know that that was that was Kurt Russell's son. Okay. So I love him too. He's he's hot. He's amazing. He's oh yeah, hot. he's a hot dude. He's a hot dude. Right now, he's I'm got this like right massive now. beard too, and I think it works. He has him. a beard. And he should yeah. always Go have the guy. beard. He's hot with the beard. Uh, not hot also, without also the beard. Also, as another saying. political sidebar, and I won't even really go into this, I did pull up a ethics.house.gov article about how nepotism is outlawed in, in, in some kind of way. You know what I mean? Lies. No, I swear to God. Uh, I won't really read it, but you can check the uh, the... Uh, description. Okay, I Hold see on. If you have Let the same me f- list I do because there's one squeeze. that I want to tell you about. Dude, I am will... talking. Can I finish my thought before you what? fucking interrupt me, please? Thank you very much. I will put the a link to this uh, e- ethics house gov thing in the description below. That's all I was trying to say. Go ahead. Okay, I was going to say, I Damn. hope the list Woman. that you have has a one because there's one that I think will blow your mind, but you didn't see this show, but then you do know this actress. Okay. So maybe. All right. I mean, it will shock sure. you because I didn't even know this person. When I saw it, I was like, <clears throat> what? Okay, okay. But go ahead. So we're just going to, are we just going to talk about talking about it? Or are we just going to fucking actually show the articles? Let's show the listicle. All right. I also said the words show twice. Show the so. listicle. Thank you very much. All right. So this are is. Are you going to do your gauge shot? I'm about to. You saw me pour it. Aww. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so what? adorable. Jack? Yeah, look at him. I know. Jack is a cute dude. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I feel this like is, he's the only person that I would probably leave you for if you this ever is, hit on me. This is getting dark. Um, Who the fuck is that guy's... Okay. That guy Dude, will him? you just stop for okay, a second fine. and let fine. this happen? Okay, <laughs> you, you need to control yourself. I didn't know that person was a Neville, Did you baby. take your fucking two sh- drinks? All right, from Beckham, from Beckham and Bieber to Smith and Washington. To, here's our A to Z of the Nepo Babies ruling pop culture. Standard.co.uk. So we're we're in fucking oh, England UK right now. One. Okay. So okay. and I'm not gonna really read everything, but here we go. Yeah. Mod Apatow. People might know this. People might not know this. But Maude Apatow is Judd Apatow's daughter. Not just her father. Judd well, Apatow. Okay. Will you just let me read it? Will you just let me read it, please? Her father is award-winning director Judd Apatow, and her mother is Leslie Mann, who also starred in both of those movies, The Knocked Up and 40-Year-Old Virgin. Okay, but okay, let's talk about do we think she's a good Nepo baby, bad Nepo baby? Good Nepo baby. I think she's a good actress. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, she's great. And she's obviously older now. Like, I remember when she was a little kid. <clears throat> Haley Bieber. Nepo Connections. Her father is actor Stephen Baldwin, which I just learned today, by the way. You 
just learned that today? Yeah, I, did, I had no idea. Uh, one of the Baldwin brothers, her uncles are fellow actors, Alec Baldwin, William Baldwin, of course. It's the Baldwin family. Uh, her mother, Kenya Baldwin, is a graphic designer and doesn't have much to do with the show business, apart from the fact that she's the daughter of world-famous Brazilian jazz composer, Umir Deodato. Okay, do never heard of everyone him. think that she's a good model? I've never seen her work in any possible form. I only know her as Haley Bieber, and I just know Justin Bieber. So, like, essentially didn't know who she was until she was Haley Bieber. Until basically. she was married to the Bieber. Yes. Pers- personally. I've never seen a picture of her or heard about her ever. And then all of a sudden, Haley Bieber was a word that I heard a lot. I think she's a good model. Okay. Do I think she's a good high end model? Maybe not, but she's a good commercial. I will say she's that a good commercial look. From my point of view, she's still just not a thing. Like she just doesn't exist in my brain. Like I've never seen her talk, exist, do anything. The most I've even interacted with Haley Bieber at all in any form is today when I was pulling these articles. So I don't know. In my sphere, Haley Bieber doesn't exist. So does that make her a bad nepo baby? I think so. It's because you're not into just models. Well, I know models. I know about the Hadids. But you, you know, what I mean? know about the and we'll Hadids. We'll talk about them in not a minute. Not because they're a models. You know about the Hadids because they're linked to musicians. No, it's because they're hot, okay, how, they're hot chicks. Okay, how did you first learn about the Hadids? Because they're just hot chicks and you see pictures of them. I'd never heard or seen heard of or seen Haley Bieber in my whole life until today. So what's the first picture of the Hadids that you saw? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, some hot chick with big boobs. I don't okay. fucking know. Go Let's ahead. move on. Let's move on. Brooklyn Beckham. I also didn't know that this was I know okay, who the Beckham again? guy is, right? He's a soccer okay, player, right? Okay, but what does yes, but what does Brooklyn Beckham Football. do? Because I don't I don't fucking know. For uh, me, model, he's a model. Okay, for apparently. me, Brooklyn Beckham not in my sh- in my like. Wait, I just think he's he's wait, famous just because of his dad. Wait a second, one of the his David Beckham's married to a Spice Girl. Yes. So what's the Victoria fuck? Beck? Which one is Victoria? Posh Beckham? Spice. The black one. No, that's scary. Which one's that? Spice. Which one's that? Why don't you just look her Let's up? Let's see. Posh. I can't ex- spice. explain posh. I don't know what that is. I, I'm i sorry, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, it, she's a British person. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. I can't distinguish the fucking Spice Girls, dude. I don't know. There was the redhead one. That's one that I remember. And then the black one, the scary one, right? Okay. Those are the only Spice Girls so I remember. The, non, the, the fucking, rest of them are just so like the any non-white bitch, one, like a lady. So you know? the non-white one and the one that is a ginger. Yes, those are the, the only, only two that I remember. That, okay. The okay. rest are just like nondescript okay. British women. Okay, got it. We got it. Okay. I'm sorry, everyone. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You got it. And Lily by Collins. the way, do I think do I give a thumbs up to Brooklyn Be- Beckham? I give him a thumbs down because yeah, I've I never heard of him or seen of him. I don't think he's hot, form. and he totally is just a regular white guy. So, so I'm we'll getting get drunker. Uh, Lily Collins, she's been on a show you watch, Emily we in know, Paris, and we know about Phil Collins. Uh, you know. In the air tonight. Yeah, but you know. um, she did uh, other things too. But does anyone in the chat know what the fuck Genesis is? I know what Genesis is. You, have you heard a Genesis song? Because like, yeah, well, but I can't name one. The reason I'm asking is because my actual father, Ron Jones, is like the the Genesis I fan. I believe. I fucking believe. Yeah, that. I know That's that. Like, so i'm just saying i know about genesis anyways uh, like lily so. collins was really good i thought that she, she seems like a good okay, actress no. she sucked know. in everything else but she's good in emily in paris i've only mm-hmm. seen episodes of emily in paris that you've been watching when i've walked in the door and you were watching it 
and it seems like a fun show. I don't know. Whatever. No, he's not going to like that. I, it's not what? my style. I don't give a real shit. But no, You're but not going to like it. You're going to make fun pretty. of me. She's pretty. You make fun of me about everything, and what? I like that. She's, I don't make fun of you for everything. What are that. you talking about? She's fun in that. Thumbs up to her only in Emily in Paris. She was Sandra Bullock's daughter in The Blind Side. No shit. I only watched that movie once. Oh, that never movie seen was it. too sad. Never seen it. Um, how do you reach these keys? Okay, then we got Lily Rose Depp, which to me, why does she? I don't. What's going on with her face? Has she had work done? No, but you. Why we does don't her know face her look mom weird? Looks like. I feel like her face is weird. I we don't know what her mom looks like. So, I, does that make me judgmental? Probably. Yeah. Well, anyways, maybe matter. she's nice. I, I don't remember her in anything, I don't so know. I can't even say. That's that. Johnny Depp's daughter. I only remember her from and the paparazzi uh, pic of her making out with Timothy Shamlot, and it was like okay. her, him eating her face, so yeah. I don't even know. It's gross. Um. Okay, so thumbs up, thumbs down. The neutral, I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, I'm kind of like doing... Uh, look, yeah. at, look at me. Neutral, neutral. See this? Yeah, this is a... This is a sideways. Neutral so. next. I don't know, man. I just see Lily next, Rose Depp, and I, seen her I feel movies. like she looks like a gray alien. She's got a gray, a gray alien face. Uh, then we got Kaya Gerber, who okay. is like a Please. carbon fucking. Don't copy. even talk to me about her because that, like, right there, like that. That just looks like Cindy yeah. Cop Crawford. So she's already a thumbs up for me because I thought Cindy Crawford was hot. This woman's hot. <sighs> But see, like see, you don't she gotta just, think like, the truth. Is you know she what I mean? a carbon copy? Yeah, and I, that's what I was gonna say. Like, so do you think that like she's only amazing because she just looks exactly like her mom? I think that's what most people think. <laughs> wow. But she's like, but she's. I don't know. Hot, so well, here's cares? the thing: Cindy Crawford is a beautiful woman. Yeah. So any woman who comes out looking exactly like her. Is going to be a beautiful woman, too, right? Yeah. So you just can't deny. And she's only modeling. I she doesn't know. act, so she's just everything's based on her look, so I guess. like Yeah, well, she looks a lot like her mom. Yeah, so, so thumbs that's up. That's kind of a big thing. Uh, Mason Gold. Okay, time Pitty. out. Who? I don't okay. know who this is. Look, I know who this is, and Kay. like I did not know he was an apple baby. But who is his parent? This is... Jerry Maguire and Men of Honor actor... Cuba Gooding Jr. And who else? Who's the mom? Oh no! Oh, so his his dad is Cuba Gooding Jr. Wow. That's so that's Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son. Oh shit. Huh. Wow. Oh yeah, Gooding. Right, Gooding. Mason Gooding. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense now. I'm shocked. Um, started in the okay. unexpectedly well-received 2022 Scream reboot called Scream. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was a good movie. I thought it was that, dope. That, that make, I don't remember life. this guy in any form. Hello, So yes. I watched the movie, but I just don't remember this dude. Because there's like a lot of kind of like good-looking black dudes right now. And he just kind of is just another one of those. He's also in How I Met Your Father. And dude, he's okay. Also in All right. Other stuff. Joy. Uh, the guy. Okay. You know that British guy that you like that's a black uh, guy? Oh, Rene Pe Page. This Page. guy looks like that guy. No? That's why he's hot. But I'm just saying, like, Are we not that's, why, that's why I he's know, not standing out in my brain because I'm just I like, it, well, it just looks like that guy. Scream, and then Am I you wrong? You don't know because you don't pay attention to hot guys in movies. Like, I only watch I th stuff. Maybe I thought it was that guy. It. Maybe I thought it was the same guy. No, you didn't. Okay. Please. It's possible. Who uh, appeared as the school heart heartthrob in Olivia Wilde's yeah. critically acclaimed director debut, Booksmart. I don't yes. remember that. Then we got Maya Hawk. Ba ba boom. This has got the biggest titties in Hollywood right now. I didn't know that you know that saying? was their daughter. But Dude. then when I found out, I was like, She okay. looks exactly like Uma Thurman. But then when you really think about it, she also looks a lot like Ethan Hawke. Yeah, I know. She really is like she a really lot of is. both of them. Yeah, okay. Like so, we already know what up. she's from. He could get this good. Yeah, see, she's yeah, like, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you, CB bitch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, got yeah. Him. yeah. Um, Talk and movie for that. I mean, like, I'm not I'm saying he's like, not he's a like he's, he's a, a hot dude. Of course he's a but hot dude. I feel like I'm just he saying might that be short. 
We need to mm. like later on. I'm gonna look up this you know guy's what? height because he he. Mojo, squeeze. Every time look I've at seen me. Him in look stuff, me in the eyes. Every time I've seen him in movies. Look he me looks in the eyes. Short. Look me in the eyes. You're fucked up. I don't care. How many bells Sorry. is that? Three. Okay. Can I have another beer? I only have two in here. I'm a tall bitch. I need a tall man. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm a tall bitch. Look. I need a tall man. I'm not tall per se but i'm taller than you yeah you're taller than me so it works which counts but i'm just saying wait so did you just did you just call me tall if we ever broke up did i just i would refer to as tall to have a taller man just say wow damn but that's only if we ever broke up which we would never it's time to cancel the stream and uh end odd valley which we would never break Uh, up (laughs) but i'm just saying if we ever Sure. Uh Maya Hawk. That's fucked up. I'm kidding. You're not call you're talking about taller guys and I just said a the same type of Snyder just mark. Just kidding. I don't care. Go ahead. Sure. Anyway, Maya Hawk, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up because she did do good in Stranger Things and yeah, she, she was, was in good in Do Revenge. Do Revenge. You didn't watch that with me because you didn't want to because it was a high school movie and you were like what was it and about? you were playing it's about doing revenge D- okay well it doesn't sound like a good good script it was a good script thank you very okay. much uh dakota johnson i hate this bitch she's the daughter of melanie griffith yeah melanie huh. griffith and what's it called and Antonio don johnson no, don johnson yeah i don't know i but know the name don johnson but i don't know who don johnson but is. she considers her dad dad to be antonio banderas because melanie griffith is huh. with antonio banderas okay so i don't like i much. think dakota johnson uh looks like a bird no, I don't know. I mean, she did. She did the okay. So she did the uh, was it the gray? Fifty thing? shades of gray. Yeah, she did stuff. the fifty shades shades of gray stuff, and that was kind of hot. Which I thought. So was I'll give dumb. her credit for that. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm just saying she pulled her titties out. But and, maybe like, who because, doesn't like, like titties? Maybe because I did not like the Fifty Shades of Gray books, and I did mm. not like the Fifty Shades. of Gray I don't of gray care movie. about a book or a movie, but like the titties were cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> That's sure. all I give a shit about is the titties, and I saw the titties. And, so and they're, then they're she fun did a time. whole bunch. Of, I don't think there was any. But movie. she look. She look at her face. Even in this picture, I think that that she has one of those smug faces. You know what I mean? Where she thinks she's better than everyone. Like uh, what's her name? Uh, okay, uh, but like she Taylor was one Swift. of the ones that she was the one the ones that changed her name so that she didn't um get any like nepotism from her fucking parents. Uh, her dad's name is Don Johnson, and her name is Dakota Johnson. Yeah, but no one knows who Don Johnson is. Exclu- e- explain to me how she changed her name. Her name. Her Dakota. last name would be fucking Johnson, regardless. Okay, maybe. So she did know. nothing. She did nothing. She yeah, just sure, pulled her titties out and was in a bad. I can't think of any adaptation. movie that she was good in. She was in Fifty Shades of Grey. She wasn't good in that. She did High Note with um with with. Who I love. But you didn't What's watch Suspiria. Okay, but you gotta I, watch Suspiria, the remake. The re- uh, it's the no, it's it's a remake no, of Suspiria. No. Look, i oh. by the way, I watched the Suspiria uh-huh. from the seventies, and that's a pretty good movie. Uh not sure if uh I can get through the newer Suspiria, no, but she is in it. It was so fucking boring. Until the Swinton's no. in it. I don't care. You know what I mean? Until the Swinton, you love Till Swinton. I don't Care. Okay, then we got Zoe, Kra- Zoe Kravitz, who's like, you know, thumbs up. She was she's, she's good in like a honestly, lot of stuff. Zoe Kravitz like is like one of the hottest things that's happening right now. But I don't think she's very hot. I think so. But have you seen I like her in the her, Batman? Though, but I like her though. Yeah. Have you I seen her like in the her Batman? Though. She's pretty hot in the Batman. Yeah, she's she's really she's a good actress. So see, that's a nepotism thing that worked because she's good at what she does. Sure, but when you have like. A lot of opportunities and you can spend time like on your health and your diet and like no, practicing. I'm not talking about how hot she is. I'm talking having, about her talent. No, I'm just saying all of it comes from the same place, right? If you're just, if you're in a good place to start out then you have a lot of like time and energy to like refine the craft. True. That's okay. nepotism. Okay. That's part of it, right? Okay. Well, so like so. that's why all these people are succeeding. 
no, because there they are have some people that suck a lot that of be succeeding. fucking pressure on them, but also a lot of opportunity. No, there are to some be people healthy okay. and not have to deal with the food deserts and all this Stop. type of bullshit that people deal with. Stop. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the talent. There are some people on that list that mm. clearly has had the capability of maybe learning how to be a better actor or actress. It's like and Dakota then they're Johnson. Not. They're still sucky at acting. Like Dakota Johnson. So, like, that makes it even worse but that Dakota they had Johnson these opportunities did show her and titties. they fucking suck. So, so she had to pull her titties what? out. And if it's she the had only to way. use it, then fine. It's the only way. But anyway, Zoe Kravitz. But I don't I'm think cool she did that. I think she did not. No, I give anyone. I give Zoe Kravitz credit. She's good. Yeah, she's um, good. I like her. Just like my boy, uh, whatever. Uh, 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 what's the, what we said? It. Jack Quaid. Okay. Um, Rafferty Law. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's Jude Law's son. Okay, what does he no do? Way. Um, he, an actor. He was in Oliver Twist. Oh, fuck I guess. That. Get out of here. They skip know. that guy. I don't even know who he is. So not even okay. worth it. I'm not even. Remember, this is a UK thing. Then we got Billy Lord. Okay, Carrie Fisher's was, daughter. She was good. She was good though. She was good in Scream Queens. She was really good in Scream Queens. So I give her a thumbs up for that. And she was in Star Wars alongside her mom, and that was cute. So, yeah. cool. And then we have Apple Martin, which oh, is... Oh, yeah, that's ugh. Gwyneth Paltrow's And I daughter. fucking hate Gwyneth Paltrow. And, but and I do Chris like Chris Martin. Martin you know what yeah. I mean? Because Coldplay is dope. But what does she do? She's a model? Uh, Turning up to the chanel show this week and achieving immediate it girl status no fucking, that means she's an influencer i don't Get know i don't Fuck know that. what to tell you uk okay, skip, you need to try harder skip 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 oh we got jack quaid uh, so could we know. why I couldn't love. we put jack quaid above an influencer that's all i'm trying to say okay we know we love him meg ryan so and son dennis of quaid. dennis quaid and meg ryan and when you look at his face you see both of them uh, and he's in, he's in the boys. Yeah, I love a nerd though. Show. I love a tall nerd. I'm just gonna tell you right. Now. Uh, uh, so let's okay. thumbs up, thumbs up. Sure, yeah. Margaret Qualley. Her mother. Okay, she's good though. Her mother. Her mother's Annie McDowell. Yeah, who's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous woman. Yes, she who's is. Who's most famous for roles in Groundhog's Day, of course, and Four Weddings and a Funeral, which I've never seen. Uh, Netflix series. Oh, she's the chick from Maid. She killed it on no the way. Maid. She I've heard that show. Killed it on heard that. Of that show. So that's why I give her a thumbs up. She's a good actress. She killed it on that, and she killed it on nice. um, what's it called? On Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So hell yeah, that was a good up. movie too. So she's she's yeah. a good nepo baby. All right. Good nepo baby. Then we got Wyatt good Russell. Movie. I mean, look at him. Why'd you hit the bell a second time? He looks like a rapist, but. Let's give it to him. No, Wyatt Russell looks a lot like his dad. You tell me you don't see Kurt Russell in there. I mean, I see it. Yeah, 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 I do. Okay. So he just appeared in the hit Andrew Garfield helm series under the banner of heaven. Yes, that's such a good show. Uh, but see then, me, like, Mitch. He's also got to get on that because you know we like that true. He's friendship. also been in a bunch of stuff, including he's in the Marvel uni- MCU as like essentially. I mean, you'll hate the, him in Under the Banner of Heaven, but I mean, please just watch it. So it's good. a really good show. So um, good. Mormons. So sad. But Mor- so Mormons are apparently my birthright a bit too. Uh, then the Scars Guards, which this is kind of dumb, but sure, whatever. You know, there's they're all brothers and they're all successful. Okay, whatever. but all the Scars Guards are good though. They're great, you know. And then we got the Smiths. You got Jaden. You got Willow. You got. You know, slaps. You got all that fun stuff. And then look at, dude, look at David Tennant's son. Okay, what is he wow. in, though? He played Prince Aegon Targaryen in House of the Dragon. The one that was an asshole. That's fucking David Tennant's son. I'm just learning Wait, this. Wait, I'm out. just learning this time right out. now, too. Wait. Wow. Which one does he play? Aegon. Remember the one that was, like, raping the girls? <laughs> Basically. Oh, but he's gross, remember that though. the one that was an yeah, asshole. That That's an David asshole. Tennant's son, and you know David Tennant. But he's so good in that. 
Wow. David Tennant's been in a lot of Didn't things. He that. was the Doctor. Hello. Doctor Who. Yeah, Doctor Who. He was also he was in also Harry, Harry Potter, Potter. And, and he was also in uh, that one oh space, uh, the one cartoon I liked. Wow. And then John David Washington, who's Denzel Washington. Yeah, that's son. the one I didn't know. That's didn't the know. other one. That's a, that's a shocker. Shocker. But they picked the ugliest picture for him. Okay. Th- sure. That's the ugliest picture. He's way hotter. Okay, here we go. CNN has a thing. No, uh, no, no that no, one sucks. No, no. All right, here we go. These 15 celebrity nepotism babies grew up rich. What we got? We're going to flip through these really quick. We have no, obviously my... No, no, no. Look. Mochi Squeeze, put your phone down and look at the screen. Okay. I just want to show the people a picture of their parent next to him, right? So Maya Hawk next to Uma Thurman. You can see the resemblance. Okay. Uh, who the fuck is Gracie Adam Abr- Abrams? I don't know, but guess what? That's J.J. Abrams' daughter, and she's a musician. Oh, yeah, I know that. I didn't know that. I heard that. Mm-hmm. Judd Apatow, or Maud Ap- Apatow. I'm sorry. I'm getting drunker. Uh, okay, by the Leslie way. That's Leslie Mann next to her yeah, daughter, Maud. Alike. Okay. Okay. And then Here's we already Brooklyn. saw that. Yeah, we saw that. Skip. We already saw that skin. No, we didn't see this. Nicola Who Peltz. the fuck is that? Nobody cares. That's his like wife or something. Her mother is model Claudia Hefner. Her father is billionaire businessman Nicole Peltz. Okay. Huh. Uh we'll see. Okay, no. repeat, repeat. This is I told you about this earlier. Yeah, pl- do the one that I see. Here's sent Melanie you. Griffith next to Dakota. Here's Gigi and Bella Hadid. Okay. Do you know that James Gunn's um, brother is also a Nepo baby? No. Do you know who James Gunn's brother is? No. He's in, what's it called? He's in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, it's that guy who's like kind of. And he's also in Gilmore Girls. He's kind of pulled out. Yeah. Uh, what's uh? <laughs> he's kind of lanky. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. I forgot. I forgot that was one of the guys. Yep. Just huh. FYI, nepotism right there, dude. I there was another article I found, but let's go through this one before we hit the I last one. I sent you another one. We're gonna do this one before we hit the okay, last mine's one. Mine's better, but okay. Dude, the one that you did, we'll go through. No, I just sent you one. Just now. Yes, just now. Okay. Sure. God. The one that I just pulled up now that was going to be good is good. All right. Here we go. I I don't know. Michael Consuelos, Kelly Ripa, and Mark Consuelos. Mm-hmm. I don't know these people. Kelly Ripa. I don't know what is that is. Kelly Ripa. Uh huh. Is from the Kelly Ripa show. She was on. She took the. She was I with Regis and Kelly. Oh. Uh, why does she look like this? Well, that's picture. just an old picture of her. And then because okay. they met with that one. one. Julie, did you know that that what? guy, that guy is on Sex Life of College Girls? Oh, no shit. Is and, that and, his, and, and, yeah, her and she, daughter? And he's like funny. Her son? Yeah. That's Julia Louis Dreyfus' son? That's the one that I was going to tell you about that you would oh. be shocked about. That's, that's wild. I wanted you to bring up this list. There was another list that had the thing, but I didn't have it saved, I guess. See, so there you Sydney go. Sydney Chandler, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Chandler. I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. See? D- oh, I had this article. Yeah. What happened to it? Uh, Deacon Philippi, Reese Willis, Witherspoon, and Ryan Philippi. Yeah, and wow. guess what? He looks exactly like them. L- both of them. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, we already we did. know that one. Ma- we already Maya know that Hawk, one. Yeah. L- this one blows guess my what? mind. Lewis See? Pullman yeah. and Bill Pullman. Yeah. Look at wow. that motherfucker. He was in that stupid ass dude. top Same. maverick fuck. Dude, it was a good movie. Shut up. I hate that movie. Uh, you can hate it. Okay, and then finally we have John David Washington. To me, looks a lot like his dad. Well, when you put it side by side, yeah, but when you didn't when you didn't know It's in the eyes, dude. It's in the it's in this section of the face. When you didn't know, it was like, you know. Okay, whatever. Dakota Johnson, him. Billy Lord. Yeah, they look very similar in these pictures. Jack Quaid, Meg Ryan, Dennis Quaid. You can see it. You can see it, yeah. Mod, sure. Yeah, uh, you can really see it here. Yeah. Margaret Qualley see? and Annie McDowell, very similar. Mm-hmm. 
Zoe Dutch and yeah. Leah Thompson. That was a big one. That was a big one for and me. And guess actually. what? That was a big one for me too. And guess what? She's a good. She's a good actress. Oh yeah, she's great. Uh, what was that movie that had Mega sixty four in it? Uh, it's not okay. It's not okay. Please watch that. Mega sixty four is featured in it. It's great. It's a great satire. It's a good, it's a good satire. Um, yeah. But then that was the first time I ever seen Zoe Dutch in anything. And then Mochi oh, Squeeze told me about that's Leia Thompson's more, daughter. She's in and I was like, holy shit. No, I know that. But I'm just saying that's the first movie I ever saw her, her, her in. Mm-hmm. So it tripped me out. And then, you know, Lily Rose Depp. Yeah, we see it. Lily Collins, we know. And that's that. On that one. No. All right. So here's like a matrix of people. Katie Seagal and Jackson White. Do you see that? Nope. Let's see. Now we don't know those people. Don't know that people. Don't know that. All right. We're going to flip through these. Oh, Felix, Philip Seymour Hoffman's son, Cop Cooper Hoffman. Mm. Do you see the resemblance? Mm, yeah. I don't know him in anything, so. He was in Licorice Pizza. Uh, Hated that movie. Sorry. There's going to be people that's going to yeah, hate me for saying that. True. but Boring movie. Oh, there you go. Um, don't know these people. Gracie Adrian. Um, let's see. Ju- okay, see here we go. Julia Louis Dreyfus has a son, Charlie Hall, but then that's what his dad looks like, right? Nice. Pretty similar. Thank um, goodness he looks like Julia Louis. Steven Dreyfus. Spielberg's daughter, Destry Spielberg. Huh? See the resemblance. Okay, what is she in? Nothing. I don't know. But do you see the resemblance? I guess. Uh, what else? What what have we missed? Oh, there we go. Tom Hanks, Colin Hanks. Everyone hates him, but I love him. Well, how could you hate Colin Hanks? They said he's a bad actor. What? I know. Have they not seen Orange County? I know. The fuck? I know. And everything I've seen Colin Hanks in, I've I've loved. They hated his performance. him and Dexter. They said he ruined Dude, Dexter. Dude, De- that's not his fault. That was the writing. They said he ruined Okay, it. he was like a religious character. Wait, what? The chick from fucking Girls is like some sort of thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And another girl from Girls, too. Her dad is like a CNN anchor. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to. That was the one. That was the one I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, Rumble Willis. Yeah, she's like Rumor Willis. Like, I feel like sort of weird about it because didn't like, she like? I think she's someone attractive, cheat on her. But she's or she's with weirdly her or attractive. Like, she's not. She's unconventional. She's got attractive. kind of a weird nose. Like, I don't know. She's pregnant now, though. She's having a baby, a girl. Uh, let's see what else we got. Kevin Bacon has a daughter named Sosie Bacon. She looks like Harris Edward. Yeah, I agreed. I agree with that. Um, Kelsey Grammer's daughter, Spencer Grammer. Okay, Lifetime movie, so it doesn't count. Um, what's it called? Scott Can is James Can's daughter. Of what? course it is. Of course what? it is. What? That is. James I've never Scott. known that. <laughs> but of course, look at the face. Oh my that's god, wild. that's wild. If you've never seen what uh, Elf, the that's the, he's the dad. The dad in all Elf is Scott Ken's dad. I never thought about that. That's wild as fuck. And then okay, yeah, that would shock me. But that yeah. person, I want to punch in the face. Yeah, Harley Quinn Smith is kind of annoying. But she's fucking. Annoying. I bet she's I a nice person. Punch her. Dude, Bryce Dallas Howard looks like her dad. Yeah, bit, she does. You know what I mean? The and same kind of smile. she's a maybe because she's like just maybe a good actor. I'm not BDH? Sure. You don't like BDH? I'm, not, I'm just like I'm not sure about her. And I have a disposition for redheads. What can I say? Uh, There's a difference between thinking someone's hot and thinking someone has talent. Good point. Um, Didn't know Sam Watterson was Catherine Watterson's dad. That's yes. crazy. Wow, this is illuminating. Oh, and then uh, we yeah, got we, we got to call this one out. Well, they might not know Eugene Levy's son Dan okay, Levy I'm from Shit's Creek. Okay, I'm and, still you know, reserving else, the right, right to judge that one because he was really good in Shit's Creek. But is he going to be good in everything else? I don't well, know. how do you like the brunch show? I feel like you like that. I do like that, but that's him okay. being himself. He's not really acting. But still, um, what else? Jack Quaid. We talked about. John David O'Shea Jackson. Oh, yeah. O'Shea Jackson, Ice Cube. 
they look alike. Identical. And he was really good. Identical. O'Shea Jackson is a good actor. I like him and stuff. He's a very good actor. Uh, Zoe Kazan. I've seen her around, but I don't even know who Elia Kazan is. He's a director, so we don't. Yeah, I don't really have to look know. that up okay. one day. But okay, this is the one of the main ones I want to bring up. Look at Wyatt Russell. And then look at Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Okay, they Come look on. alike. Okay, Come fine. On. I mean, I'm just saying, it's how was there, I supposed dude. to know? It's there, dude. How was I fucking it's supposed fucking to know? It's fucking there, man. Okay, yeah, I guess. And the Skarsgårds, we know. Dude, I didn't realize Stellan Skarsgård is like the dad of the Skarsgård clan. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Fuck, yeah. Why did I not know that? Why didn't you know that? <laughs> it's so obvious. It's because you were thinking about the other Skarsgårds. I was. I really was. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, what else do you got? Nepo baby graduates. Laura Dern. Yeah. Daughter of actress, actors yeah. from the it's past. It's been going around. Uh, wow. Yeah. It's it just around. really runs deep. You yeah, know what I mean? It does run Angelica deep. Houston is the daughter of a bunch of fucking, you know, important people. You know, it's just like so many people in our lives that are celebrities are just the next person. Even Ben Stiller. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, okay. Jamie Lee Curtis. I get, look, I give Jamie ben, Lee Curtis was a was a rundown from every screen queen. That's actually a good point. Janet Leigh, the uh, the woman who screamed mm-hmm. in the first Scream movie of all time, Psycho. Mm-hmm. Uh, big big time. But no, I give I give Ben Stiller a lot of credit because you know he's like he's more than an actor these days. He's like a badass director. Without Ben Stiller, we wouldn't have some of the best movies, nope. some of the best comedies nope. out there. Agreed. But then, you know, same thing with Jerry Stiller. He's he's a legend, and you know what I mean? Agreed. I don't really know the mom, and that's just kind of sad. Um, And then I, I didn't, dude, I didn't know this, but Drew Barrymore is also kind of royalty. Yeah, duh. That's why she was, like, addicted to, like, all sorts of drugs because her parents were, like. Dude, I had no idea. Yeah. Don't, ma- don't forget the Sutherlands and the Downies. Uh, and Mia, even Mia Farrow, mm-hmm. who I thought I didn't know she was royalty, yeah. and you okay. know what I mean. So, so let's move. That's on nepotism, to man. It's the just like last. It doesn't stop. It just keeps one, going. The last one, which is the best one that I found. Yeah, this is the last part. This is the game one. The nine biggest nepo babies in video games. <laughs> you know, you found a really good article, Moji Squeeze, and I want to give you a lot of credit for this. And now we're like, can we just, I'm just going to, let's just have a couple more drinks. I'm going to say talk three times. Talk, talk. That's three. <laughs> and cheers to anyone who's watched this long. I appreciate you. But here we go. We got Bowser Jr. Um, if you don't know, Bowser is the main villain in every Mario game. Uh, and he's had a child. I'm not exactly sure who he's had this child with, but Bowser Jr. exists. And from my experience, Bowser Jr. first showed up in the video game Super Mario Sunshine, which was uh, the Mario game on the GameCube, uh, where you had to uh, essentially hose down a bunch of paint on an island. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was a cool game. Uh, but Bowser Jr. was dressed up as Mario, masquerading as him, and like he was the one using the paint brush, and so that's why you see him in this picture, holding a paint like wand. Uh, but yeah, Bowser Jr. Man, he's a great character. He's also in Smash Bros. And do you uh, think okay, love every if you are a gamer out there watching, do mm-hmm. you think Bowser Jr. is a better villain than Bowser himself? Yeah. Do you think so? Do you think Ooh, he? Wow, that's a good question. Do you think he can carry, you know, the gauntlet, mm-hmm. per se, and or do you think he sucks? You know, do you <clears> think <throat> he should be getting rid of? Uh, I think he's cute. I think Bowser Junior has a place, but in my mind, Bowser himself is the ultimate villain, because like I'll put it this way: Bowser Junior, from my point of view like from my knowledge base has never kidnapped anyone and bowser has kidnapped princess peach endlessly so that makes him kind of a better villain but like bowser jr is also uh you know he's there he's there he's doing stuff uh and i think he's kind of a fun character to play in smash bros so i think he's here to stay 
Next. Uh, Haru from Persona 5. Uh, Haru Okumura shares her name with the corporation Okumura Foods. That's because she is the only child of the company CEO, Kunikazu. She's rebellious Nepo baby through and joins forces with the Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves being the characters that you play as, essentially. Uh, even helping uh. to change the heart of her father. So uh, Persona is a game series I've never played. Uh, and Persona 5 has come to Xbox Game Pass, so it is a series I could start playing now, and I, I want to. So I would like to check this character out and figure all this out. But I, I have no knowledge about Haru. So um, if you're out there and you you think she's a great character, hit us up, uh, oddvalleypodcast at gmail.com, or uh, throw it in the um, co- uh, comments below. Let me know how awesome Haru is. I just don't I don't know the character personally. Mochi Squeeze, what are your thoughts? I don't know the character, but she looks pretty hot. Yeah, I mean, you know. So that's all there I can you go. say about that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Now this is a character I know for sure. Absolutely. I'm not into this guy, but okay. Rufus Shinra from Final Fantasy Seven. He's the son of the uh the president of the Shinra Corporation. I'm not reading from the article. Um Final Fantasy VII is a game from the 90s, so of course I know this. But uh, essentially, when his dad dies, he takes over the corporation. The corporation is a soul-sucking type of corporation. They don't Like care. every corporation. They don't care that there is they literally, can. literally within the game canon, stealing the life force of the planet to turn it into magical crystals that they can use to cast magical spells. It's really fucked up. <laughs> And even when he takes over for his dad, he continues like the fucked up Shinra ways. So he's actually a really great villain that you uh, battle left and right uh, throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think uh, he's a great character to bring up. And he is obviously nepotistic because his dad gets assassinated and he gets to take over the Shinra um, way of life. So great character. Glad that we nice. brought him up. Okay. Oh, Jin Sakai. Wow, interesting that he's on this list. Uh, this is Ghost of Tsushima, which is an incredible video game on you the PlayStation. You can't highlight it. No one's going to see it. Incredible video game. Uh, born into the ruling class of samurai as part of Clan Sakai. Jin was well-connected from the second he was born. That gave him the chance to train with the best swordsman in the land and became a powerful samurai himself. Connections aren't always everything, and Jin proves his worth in combat during the Mongolian invasion of Tsushima Island. I agree with that, actually. No one can see what you read, because... I just read it. I know. You just just listen to what I have to say. Um, Jin Sakai is probably one of the coolest characters I I know, in general. Because the entire island gets dominated by Mongolians. Uh, A lot of people die, and he's one of the sole survivors, and he essentially comes back... um, People think that he should be dead, but he comes back almost like undead. Like word of mouth saying that like he's literally a ghost who's come back for revenge. And to the point where he like scares the Mongolians when he appears. So Jin Sakai is a badass character and uh, I love him. And yeah, I get I get why he's he's a nepotism type of character. Thumbs up nepotism. Oh, huge. Okay. Because because he he steps out of that realm because everyone he's ever like known is dead, and he like reunites the island under like a banner and like fights back on his own, and that's what makes I him a badass like samurai. It. Okay, next. Ooh, Byleth. What? Sometimes it hurts to confront that somebody you like is a nepotism baby. <laughs> Byleth wow. is a nepo baby. Their father Ger- Geralt. Is well acquainted with the head of the Church of Seros and a world renowned merc. I forgot about this. While Byleth has a knack for battle strategy, their father's connections help them uh, earn a teaching position at the Officers Academy. So that's interesting. The so like this Fire Emblem game essentially is the first phase of the game is that you're an instructor for like combat for war. You know what I mean? And you pick like one of the three houses to be like the teacher for. Uh, and they come to you for, like, combat advice. But the only reason why you got the position is because you're dad. So, like, yeah, that's obviously nepotism. Yeah, but cool. Byleth is sick. You know, is a great character. And that, that game is, is, is incredible. So, Byleth, great. Great character in Smash Bros. as well. Uh, Emily 
Caldwin Dishonored. I don't really know a lot about the Dishonored series. I've only played a bit of the first one. It looks so depressing. So, Just yeah, FYI. well, the very beginning of the first game, uh, you're like essentially a soldier for the uh, monarchy and then the king gets killed and then everything kind of falls apart. So you kind of become a ninja who's sort of trying to like help the old family. You it's know what I mean? a so, good article I don't know. for you guys to do on um, Neon Pocket Dimension. No, obviously. So See, I, uh, you're welcome. Okay. You're no, welcome. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I appreciate this, is, this article. Yeah, this is dope. Okay, so this is a huge one. Atreus, number three on the list. I'm really curious as to what two and one are. But damn, Atreus. Atreus is like one of the best characters in video games. Like, period. Um, without really spoiling it... Um, God of War, the video game, is about a Greek god who became a god because he wanted revenge on the gods because they basically killed his family. Yeah, and so fuck like, the gods. Yeah, fuck the gods. His, so if you look at the like Kratos, who's the guy on the left, his skin is like white and pale because it's like essentially the ash of his like family's burning bodies that he like put all over his body. And so, like, he's super, like, pale because he's covered in the ash of his, like, family. Okay. But then later on, he moved on and, like, fathered this son uh, in, in instead of the great Greek gods, the uh, uh, the Viking gods. You know what I mean? Like, the Norse gods, right? So, he's, like, Atreus is the son of Kratos as well. But, like, he's also the son of, like, uh, a Viking woman who's also sort of a goddess, right? And so, like, Atreus is, like, a fucking badass. And, like, I could talk so much about him, but it's it would be spoiling the story, which I don't want to do. Yes, no. So but Atreus, what are you say? Atreus, over the course of the two God of War games he's in, it's the story of him, like, growing up and, like, becoming, like, a man within the Norse gods and so becoming a god, essentially. Thumbs and it's up incredible. Thumbs down? It's an incredible story. So thumbs like, up? Two okay. thumbs up. Atreus okay. is one of the coolest characters I know, period. So he deserves to be a Nepo baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Big time. Okay. Because, like, literally, like, the first game, you all you do is you play as the father of Atreus, and you just call him boy. But in the second game, and sort of a spoiler, so skip ahead three minutes if you don't want to be spoiled, you get to play as Atreus, who's becoming a Norse god. And I won't tell you which one he is. Okay. And that's a, it's awesome. Next. Oh, okay. And then we got Zagreus, who is the son of Hades. Okay, who he's is pretty the, hot. Zagreus is pretty game. hot. Zagreus is the son of the god of fucking death in Greek mythology. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and the point god of the of video death. game, the point of the video game is you live in the underworld and you're trying to escape. And you're basically the god of wine. Right. And so like you essentially keep trying to escape and you die and you reappear back in Hades chamber and you have to keep trying to escape uh, the underworld. And it's called Hades because you keep going up to Hades right. and talking to him. Uh, but Zagreus is a great character. Uh, and also like he's kind of like a smart ass and that's what makes him fun. So another really great character. And then finally we have Bruce Wayne in the in the Batman Arkham series. Of course, of course, he's the most nepotistic video game character of all time. But he is amazing. Yeah, so. because, you know, the Waynes, right? His dad was a Wayne. The reason why he has money is because of his dad's corporation and stuff. But yeah, damn. and he plays like a definitely Come on. asshole. Like, uh, like Bruce Wayne is not like an asshole nepotism <laughs> baby. But then Batman, Batman is like for really making it happen. You know, yeah. he has to play the part of the Nepo baby so he could do what he needs to do for yeah. justice. It's the duality of I am the knight and I am the son. And right? I feel like it's more realistic because Fucking if you're going to be a vigilante and like really make shit happen, you have to be rich also. Right. Right. Well, like, you have to if you want the gadgets, you do... need the money. Yeah. So that's why I feel like that's why I love Batman, because he's the most realistic superhero yeah that he's the you best could ever have so true so you know like i mean he's living he has to like deal with people saying he's just like a rich nepo baby but really he's like really saving lives on the side yep 
I totally agree. And this is a great article, Mochi. So thank you so much for bringing this up. I loved it. It's great. And that's how we will end it. And that's it. Hold on. Let me play this one sample here. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us throughout this whole Nepo baby the more you know. rant. Um, <laughs> we are going to do a half shoddy of the um, half shoddy. Shot because I'm yeah, I'll pour it drunk. and then I'll play the song. But, but this was a really funny, uh, really fun episode, Mochi. Yeah, we did we the Nepo. Yeah. So, um, but our so next week we're gonna skip a week, and the week after that we're gonna have another episode. So, um, that's how we're doing it. But we hope that you will join us the week after next week, and um. You know, have fun with us and drink with us like we did today. And the next, as we do our shot, we are going to do our next segment, which is uh, 25 Cent Advice, which is, you know, like it's advice that we give out for free, but it's basically worth more. Um, my 25 Cent Advice is that, like, it's okay to take advantage of stuff, but be good. Because if you suck, fuck you. That's if you it. suck, get fucked. That's it. <laughs> Jacob? Uh, my 25 cent advice is uh, go after all every opportunity that comes your way. Yeah. No matter what it is. Is it your mom? Is it your uncle? Or is it just an opportunity that presents itself? Go after it, man. You know, you yeah. don't get a lot of those. Yeah. All right. So next you know what up I mean? is a Huda Gras shot. A Huda Gras shot is a shot that we take after every podcast. Please take one with us. Kudugra means live, laugh, love, and drink. We are, that's gifted to us by our friend Kevin. If you guys don't know who he is, he was with us at the start from the jump. That's right. But Listen to our old content. Find out go. who Kevin is, and he's been in on Neon Pocket Dimension kind of recently. Here you go. Kudugra. <sighs> what are we going to eat? We figure it out. Well, yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Not sure yet. All right, goodbye, everyone.